Welcome to this edition of the Rainmaker Briefings with me, Mark Stonham. And in today's module, I'm looking at LinkedIn skills and particularly the importance of the top three skills, but also looking at uh, and sharing a number of other ways that we can use skills to get our message across and also to leverage the resource that is within LinkedIn. So, uh, key area here on skills is to recognize that although for LinkedIn the uh, network is, is largely built around skills for job seekers and recruiters, so for people who are rising professionals and wanting to get a promotion or change company, and recruiters who are looking to find people, candidates to uh, match the requirements of particular hiring roles. Well, that's not as not the extent of, of the uh, capability of skills. Senior professionals and business owners, consultants can also use this uh, resource on both sides, both uh, to present themselves and also to find resources um, if they know what they're uh, they're doing, which is what I intend to outline to you. So to start this, let's look at how to use skills to. Uh, develop our specialization and project our specialization and to explain this I'll use a foundation uh, model that I've developed to help pay people to find their positioning so the foundation level here is to look at our skills qualifications and character so these are things that everybody has whether they're uh, at school a, a junior professional a senior professional so I need to review those and make sure that they are in step with the level that we are and the level that we are um, putting ourselves across and aspiring to. Building on from that very briefly, look at the building on the experience that we've had in different sectors over a number of years, then the achievements we've had in those areas, particularly delivering benefit to client, not just uh, internally for ourselves and achievement, and then at the top our superpower. But this is covered on a, a different briefing that I put together and is uh, available already. But that essentially positions skills as a foundation there. And the benefit of that is uh, helping to establish our credibility and build up our credibility in our key areas to improve our findability and to uh, help us to uh, help, help people to find us based on those particular skills. And this is where, particularly if we have unique skills that are commonly looked for, particularly around maybe um, our role, our job titles, more particularly uh, keywords such as products that we use, methodologies we follow, standards that we help people to apply um, and become competent and, and, and uh, conf compliant with. We can also use skills as a way to find people within our first connection network and also second and third. Uh, we can use the skills facility within LinkedIn as a keyword tool and use it to identify and to discover the phrases that we may not realize we're actually good at uh, and expand out on some, uh, some fairly generic phrases. What I'll be demonstrating very briefly is how to use the keyword um, school, uh, skills facility in LinkedIn and also then to add skills to the profile, put three of them at the top, which are particularly key. And an another way that we can use the skills is to endorse other people as part of a, a stay in touch program. If we've lost touch with people because we connected with them many years ago, we know that they're particularly good at a particular skill we can use the endorse facility as a way of dropping by and uh, maybe getting some, uh, some, some visibility and some traction on a very time effective basis. So those are the key areas I'm going to cover on this, um, on this, on this briefing. What I now need to do is to uh, change the sharing across to my LinkedIn profile. So if I share that with you now, we can see that uh, here is my uh, profile um, with the uh, background graphic, the um, headline, the about section. And scrolling through here, 
link to uh, the internet's a little bit slow at the moment. This will open up the experience section, scrolling down. We'll reach the skills area in a moment. There we go. So two parts to this. Um, if I look to show you how to use it as a keyword tool by adding a new skill, we have the ability to add up to 50 skills to our profile. So part of this is to uh, use this now to start a search. So we might put down something like uh, business. That's a root phrase. And then LinkedIn will suggest various additional phrases. So business strategy, this is analysis, planning, processes, and so on. So this is a way of identifying additional, perhaps more uh, nuanced phrases that we recognize that we are skilled at. And when we find one of those that we think is applicable, we can choose to add that and then add it to our, our profile. So that would be a, a way of adding a business, a business transformation to our profile. Having done that, we can then look at managing the skills on our profile. And here, particularly, I'd say the first time round is to identify any skills that are no longer applicable. Maybe we had these uh, listed 10 years ago when we were a, a less senior or more junior role but they're not something that we would now charge out to clients. In fact, they might now be complicating or uh, diluting our strength if we have too many of the more sort of junior skills on there. Um, so it may be that it's applicable to take some of these out using the delete bucket to remove sort of the junior skills, to leave more space for the senior skills and uh, clarity around what is our core area at the moment. So having taken out uh, surplus skills, what we can then do is identify those that are our top three skills. And if you haven't got these, by default, these will be the, based on the number of endorsements that we have, but we can override that with these pins. So we can unpin certain skills and choose to pin a different skill into that list. I might unpin that one and add, uh, for sake of argument, uh, email marketing. And then having done that, I can then drag, we can then drag these to change the sequence slightly. So that's a way then of uh, adding new skills, taking out old skills. You might want to do it the other way around, take out the old and then add the new, and then pin those top ones, top three, and then change the sequence of those. In that way, updating what is being displayed to visitors to our profile as our top three skills, but still being findable for the rest of those skills on there. And then obviously save. I won't do that at the moment because this isn't a, an amendment that I want to, uh, to put onto my profile. So I'll leave without saving. So that's a quick way of updating these top three skills and then using uh, the, uh, the flip side is to use this LinkedIn as a search to see if we can find people who uh, could help us perhaps with a project. So an example I used earlier on, um, a profile I worked on a while ago came up with this, the phrase XAAS which is uh, anything as a service or everything as a service and if I search for that and uh, I particularly want to look not at all across the sections, but all, just at the people. I'll then use the all filters on the right hand side, just to demonstrate that I want, in this particular case, to see if somebody in my network, my first connections, who is based in the UK, um, and apply that, and I'll find that Brendan is the person who I wanted to follow up there. So uh, very useful there, even if we have we know of somebody with the skills, but in the that's hundreds that we've got in there, we're not quite sure who it was that had that skill. This is a way of finding them. Maybe we've got a uh, 
question we wanted to ask them or whether there's a project or an opportunity. For whatever reason, you wanted to find somebody, it's a way of using our first connections as a uh, very good Rolodex and people are maintaining their skills as I'm recommending that you do so that you keep your skills up to date so that your network can find you for the things that you want to be found for. So uh, let's come out of there and go back to the slides just to wrap off the presentation. So we're talking here about uh, using skills on LinkedIn uh, to demonstrate our specialization, build our credibility, and particularly there to avoid being eliminated for lack of uh, skill or a poor match. If there are things we want to be found for, then let's highlight them. Um, be very findable. Uh, we can also use it as an inquiry for our first connections to see who has those skills using it as a keyword tool. The importance of the top three and the ability then to endorse others and stay in touch using those skills. So hopefully I've given you some suggestions there about how to maintain and update your skills on your profile and to use that as a tool to help you to develop your um, position in the marketplace, keep in touch with your network. So uh, recommend now perhaps spending 15 or 20 minutes or so going through your profile, uh, deleting old skills, adding new skills, reordering them and uh, looking at the search to see what you can find there. Uh, we find that's a very useful uh, additional to your addition to your skills to uh, refresh that part of your profile and uh, look forward to um, or drop me a, drop me a line if you've updated it or if you've got any questions to Mark Stonham and uh, you found this briefing useful and stay tuned for other briefings in the future signing off bye for now <laughs>